Welcome to another LaTeX tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at packages, macros, and how to insert graphics. We'll start by looking at packages. Packages are used to load special instructions for the compiler. With a package, you can add features that aren't included in the standard distribution, or you can modify the standard rules for dealing with fonts and document formatting. Most packages that are commonly used come pre-installed with your MCTEC distribution. If you try using a package that has not been pre-installed, a window should automatically pop up asking you if you want to install the package. To use a package, we place the use package command in the preamble of our LaTeX document. For our first example, I've opened up a document with a large amount of text so we can easily see how the package is going to affect our output. This is a two-page document and notice that the margins are very large. I have a lot of white space at the top. At the bottom, under you, we see page number one here, there's a lot of white space down there, and we also have very wide margins on the left and the right. We can use a package to change these settings. There are a variety of packages we could use to adjust our margins, but the first one I'm going to show you is called the full page package. So we want to go to our preamble, that's above the command to begin our document, but after we've defined our document class, and I'm going to type backslash use package, all one word, and then in curly brackets the name of the package, which is full page. If the full page package has been pre-installed with your distribution, then when I compile, it should automatically adjust my document. And we can see here that it did in fact decrease the size of the margins on the left and the right. Still have, I'm going to go to full page view, um, I still have a lot of white space on the top and the bottom. Um, so there's a different package we could use if we wanted to have more control over the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. Instead of using the full page package, I'm going to use the geometry package. So I'll remove that. I'm going to compile again so we can um, see what it's like without using the package. And then backslash use package, and again in curly brackets, geometry. Now we have to specify some additional information. Between the use package and the geometry in curly brackets, we're going to use square brackets and we're going to explicitly define our margin sizes. So I can say top equals one inch, and for inch I'm going to type in, comma, space, bottom equals one inch, and you can adjust this to whatever size you want. You can also use centimeters and in cm instead of inches in. Left equals one in, and right equals one in. So these are standard margin sizes um, for most documents that you would be working on. And let's build our document. Okay, and now we have one inch margins on the left, right, top, and bottom. With the geometry package, the top, bottom, left, and right parameters here measure the distance from the edge of the paper. There's another way we can determine how we want our margins adjusted. We can identify the size of the margin and the size of the paper. So in my square brackets I would type margin equals and then if I want a one inch margin one in comma and then we're going to input the size of my paper. So I have paper width equals 8.5 in, so 8.5 by 11 is a standard size piece of printer paper, comma, and then paper height equals 11 inches. And we can build that, um, and again we see it has the same effect. I'm still getting one inch margins, it's just uh, measuring that space in, from a different reference point. So three different ways to accomplish the same result. 
Now I'm going to open a new document. And I will save it as Tutorial 6. And we'll start in the usual way. And I'm going to use package full page, it's the easiest. And let's enter some text for our document. The set of natural numbers is denoted by, and if you know the special symbol used for the set of natural numbers, it looks like a modified capital letter N. If I just type N, that's not really the symbol. It's a special looking N. Okay, so now we just have a, a normal capital letter N, but we want that special symbol for the natural numbers, the N with the double bar on the left. Now the standard set of LaTeX commands doesn't include a command for that symbol, but we can load a special package that gives us some additional commands that we can use for some advanced mathematical notation. That package is called the AMS fonts package. So if we go to our preamble and type backslash use package and in curly brackets AMS fonts, that's going to allow us to use some additional commands. So instead of just typing that N, I'm going to, in math mode, type backslash mathbb, and then in curly brackets, a capital N. And now, um, if I zoom in closer on that, we can see we have that symbol for the set of natural numbers. Using this package, we can also display this special symbols for the set of integers, the set of real numbers, the set of complex numbers, and many other advanced math symbols. The set of integers is denoted by, and again, math mode, backslash, math BB, in curly brackets, we'll use the capital Z and end our math mode. Z. Extra line break. There we have it. And let's look at um, the symbol for real numbers as well. That's one that you may use commonly. The set of real numbers is denoted by and we use a capital R there.